ذني of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ the founder of the statute of perfection and the author of the law of graces we declare in this orthodox assembly and before the altar of the Lord of hosts the union of positions and the marriage of the blessed orthodox son Mark to the blessed orthodox daughter Anastasia in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit one God Amen blessed be God the Father the Pantokra Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In the name of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the founder of the statute of perfection, and the author of the law of graces, we declare in this orthodox assembly and before the altar of the Lord of hosts, the union of possession and the marriage of the blessed orthodox daughter Anastasia to her betrothed the blessed orthodox son Mark. Blessed be his only begotten son, Jesus Christ our Lord. O Lord, worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who pass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, and in Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In the name of our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ, the founder of the statute of perfection and the author of the law of graces we complete in this orthodox assembly and before the altar of the lord of hosts the union and the union of position and the marriage of the blessed orthodox son mark to the blessed orthodox daughter anastasia Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Father who art in heaven. Kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us their daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespassing against us. Lead us not in temptation, but us leave one. Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And ben is tos, is tos be. Son, 
Let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, for he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to himself, spared us, supported us, and has brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Pantocrator, to guard us in all peace this holy day, and all the days of our life. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. O Master Lord, God the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything, concerning everything and in everything, for you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this compassion upon us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints, for that which is good on our behalf at all times, and to keep the life and standing of our honored father, the Archpriest Pope Avatawadros and his partner in the apostolic liturgy, our father, the Metropolitan Ambayusif, and his partner in the apostolic liturgy, our father, the Bishop Ambabazel, and to bless the bridegroom and the bride, and to forgive us our Therefore we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, and the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people and from the bridegroom and the bride and from this your holy place but those things which are good and profitable do provide for us for it is you have given us the authority to trade on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy Kyrie eleison amoinima Yes, 
برز Through the pledge of fellowship and grant them the sign of their union so that through the bond of love they may be united in harmony and say unto them, My peace I give you both, my peace I leave with you both, for you are the peace of us all, and unto you do we offer the glory and honor with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, now and at all times, into age of all ages. Amen. O Christ, the Logos of the Father, the only begotten, God grant us your peace, which is full of every joy. Mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who ornamented the sky with the stars and adorned the earth with the splendor of the many different kinds of fruitful plants, who granted humanity the heavenly things and bestowed upon it rest on the earth, now also we ask you, O good one, the lover of mankind, to bless these vestments, so that they become for your two servants who will wear them to the pleasure of your goodness, vestments of glory and salvation. Amen. Amen. Vestments of joy and delight. Amen. Amen. Preserve them both pure in soul, body, and spirit. Amen. Amen. That their life be healthy, peaceful, and chaste through the act of righteousness. Grant them both heavenly and earthly comfort that they become rich through the acts of righteousness. Fill their houses and storage places with all blessings, and may they become worthy of doing your pleasure at all times. For you are merciful, plenteous, and mercy, and righteous, and to you is due glory with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who is of one essence with you now and forever and to age of all ages. Amen. The spiritual rainman covers Michael and the girdle of jewels Michael has put on. Lord, have mercy. Lord, 
Blessings be with us. Amen. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of the water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes it, cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you and that you may live long in the earth. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. <laughs> Tolon spenem shayenti penti kosti ansaji penani shen la as pie Ah, 
Crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Agios, O Theos, Agios, Yesheros, Agios, Athanatos, O Anastas, Ecton, Necaron, Kean, Elton, Estos, Uranos, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy upon us. And with your spirit, O oh Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his saintly honored disciples and holy apostles, Many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as you bless your eyes for the see and your ears for the hear, may we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also our Master, all those who have been us to remember them in our supplication and prayers which we offer upon to you, O Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Psalm of David, Alleluia, 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 which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Alleluia, Alleluia, Your 
your children like olive plants all around your table. Alleluia. Maro chas chandie keklisayente bef. Laos. O maro is moero fin kadra intenie bresvinteros. Jeaf ko in omitiot em evritin haneso. Even of ingenuity, so ton o o f e o n o f. I'm working Jeff, so he's so and if I'm in it, Jen talk before we push in a car, taxi smell she said. So I saw in a man walk beneath the so even but real sheens, Baba, but I wonder who's me, ma. It's not. Nem beneath the metropolitan Savayu. Nem beneath the nevus kobos avang be. Ismoe pi eklomente ti rompi hitente mete Christos ev shois ni aro nemni momi nemni siti nemni karposeli. Now it came to pass when Jesus had finished these sayings that he departed from Galilee and came to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan and great multitudes followed him and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came to him testing him and saying to him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? And he answered and said to them, Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. Glory be to God for whom the Holy Spirit has a tool oh, oh, together 
as a stringed instrument always blessing God my Pantokrator, who are in heaven, the Lord of our forefathers, we beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O oh, you who created the heaven, the earth, and the sea, and everything therein, and ornamented them with your wisdom, we beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O oh, you who made man in his image after his likeness and placed him in the paradise of joy, we ask you, O oh Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Oh, you who created woman from Adam's side and gave her to him as a helper fit for him, we beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who blessed Abraham and Sarah and made her a wife for him and granted him the title head of all patriarchs, we beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who preserved Isaac and chose for him Rebekah and delivered him from his enemies, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Mercy. O you who blessed Jacob and gave him Rachel as a wife and did grant him to be heirs, grant them to be heirs of the promise, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who raised up Joseph and granted him Asenath as a wife and through him you sustained all the land of Egypt, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who are pleased to be born of a virgin in the fullness of time and enlightened mankind, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who attended the wedding of Cana of Galilee, bless this marriage as you bless that marriage. We beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O God, who transformed water into genuine wine by the authority of his divinity, bless your two servants and purify them with your love for mankind. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who attended the wedding of Cana of Galilee and blessed that wedding and transformed water into genuine wine by the authority of his divinity. Bless and guard this wedding of your two servants, Mark and Anastasia, in peace, harmony, and love, and protect them. We ask you, O Lord, hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who are beneficent and compassionate and full of goodness and affection, O God, make us glorify your goodness, O lover of mankind. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. O Christ, the Logos of the Father, the only begotten God, grant us your peace, which is full of every joy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In Sophia Theopros for men, Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, who know with me. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, 
begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary and became man, and he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended to the heavens, he sits at a hand with his Father, and he is coming again with his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, who believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who the Father, the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and one holy Catholic and Mixolic Church, we confess on baptism for the sins. Engoste un chait in Tianastasis in Tenerif Mood, Nembion Hente Bion Ethneo. O God, who is eternal and everlasting, who has no beginning, whose wisdom has no limit and whose power has no end, who made man from the earth, and gave him a woman out of his sight, and accommodated for her, for him as a helper fit for him, as it pleased your lordship and goodness, because it is not good for a man to be alone. We ask you also now, O our King, to join your two servants, Mark and Anastasia, to be united to each other in one body, and to enter into the law of joy, and to abide in your fruitful teachings, Grant them a living fruit out of the womb so that they rejoice in the birth of good children and have quiet and peaceful times. Prepare them for every good work through Christ Jesus our Lord. As you have given to your holy apostles, likewise say unto us, my peace I give to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Father, our God, who formed all nature, who formed man from earth, and made for him a helpmate from the rib, you have taken from him and joined them together in the fellowship of marriage for life and continuous growth of mankind and told them to grow and multiply and fill the earth and rule over it. You also, O good one, the lover of mankind, bless the union of your two servants, Mark and Estesia, who are united to each other according to your will. Bless them and multiply them as you blessed our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bless them as you blessed Abraham with Sarah. Elevate them as you did Isaac and Rebekah. And multiply them as you multiplied Jacob and his offspring. Glorify them as you have glorified Joseph in Egypt. Grant them purity, multiply them as Elkanah and Anna, whom you blessed and to whom you granted Samuel, the faithful prophet, make them worthy of the pure good tidings of the archangel, as you did with Zacharias and Elizabeth, to whom you granted the birth of John, the greatest among those born of women, who became a forerunner before your only begotten son. You also, O Master, Lord, blessed, Joachim and Anna and made their, from them the rational ark, the mother of God, Mary, from whom your only begotten son was incarnate and came into the world, and blessed the wedding of Cana of Galilee. Bless your two servants, Mark and Anastasia, and who are united at this hour, grant them prosperity, wisdom, and salvation's blessings so that they may be in all goodness and all purity united in their bodies and souls, and be worthy of your blessing, and glorify your holy name together with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever unto the age of all ages. Amen. My peace which I have taken from my Father, I leave unto you. 
from now and forever. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, the great and eternal, who brought life into existence out of non-existence, and created the universe by your laws and formed men with your pure hands in your image and after your likeness and from one created the other for you said that it is not good that the man should be alone so you caused sleep to fall upon adam so he slept and you took a rib from his side and closed up its place with flesh instead of it for this a man leaves his father and mother and cleaves to his wife and they both become one body, and what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. O oh, you blessed Abraham with Sarah, Isaac with Rebekah, and Jacob in this marriage, and purified all who are joined in blessing. Now also, O oh Master Lord, look upon your two servants, Mark and Astasia. His helpmate confirm their union. Guard their bed in purity, cover them in their home with your unconquerable right hand. Deliver them from all envy and intrigues, preserve them in oneness, harmony and peace. Grant them joy and happiness to reveal unto you, O living God, the fruit of life from the womb. Bless them, O God, as you blessed Abraham and Sarah with Sarah, and Isaac with Rebekah and Jacob in his marriage. As for the men and women who are here with us, bless them in the name of our Lord and our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Do not forget your covenant that you have established with our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, 